see. But Robert Rodriguez explains why. Why he would make another <laughs> desperate sequel, but he's really worried about glorifying the violence. They stay away. What's going on? Why is everything going to shit? Is this why he thinks Hypnotic failed because of glorified gun violence? I think that's why. I mean, what what happens when you go to work for Disney for too long? You know, doing the Mandalorian and stuff. He's yeah. I think he's been uh, indoctrinated. He's he's something's happened to him. Something's happened to him. Okay, I'm gonna get right to it, guys. Here we go. Right there. They ask him, are there any other movies you'd like to revisit? I would love to revisit the Desperado series. I thought it was a way ahead of its time. All right. All right. Just remember what he said. Desperado was ahead of its time. It's really hard to do today for me anything with guns. <laughs> Gun violence has gotten out of control. <laughs> Even those are those are very tongue in cheek and kind of fun. It's just hard to do. There's always something terrible. There's always some terrible shooting, and you just go, I don't know if I can res can responsibly do anything with guns. I really love those films. They're so fun. They're like spy kids for grown-ups with guitar cases and fired missiles and gadgets galore. It was still made by kids. Still, the glorification of it would be hard to for me to pull off responsibly. All right, panel, have at it. Wow. Well, in, in the immortal words of Private Frost in Aliens, what are we supposed to do, man? Use harsh language? <laughs> what are we supposed to do, man? Use harsh language? Nice reference. Nice. Um, <clears throat> Snow you know, I, I love his movie. Like, you know, <clears throat> I'm one of the ones that loved, um, what's it, Once Upon a Time in Mexico with Johnny Depp? I mean, that was, mm -hmm. it was a fantastic <laughs> movie. And... Um, also, his Grindhouse movie he did, too, with uh, Tarantino. I mean, he, he had, uh, um, oh, I can't think of her name now, but he put a machine gun on her leg, you know. Uh, in, in Rose McGowan. Movie. Rose McGowan, exactly. Um, <laughs> not Planet I mean, Terror, was it? Or Grindhouse. No, Planet uh, Terror was. It, it was Planet yeah. Terror. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yep. So it's like, you're you're a little late to the party on that one. We, we, you've kind of established yourself to have guns in your movies. So to back away from it now, I think would be, I don't want to say career suicide, but uh, not a good mm -hmm. play. Not a good play. Wow. I think he's doing it to impress his friends. Like, it's yeah. what starts to happen in Hollywood is that they're putting out, not for the general audience, but they're putting out for the people around them. All for themselves. So you're saying he's they, gone, he's gone Howard Stern. Yeah, because uh, it's was it? There's I forget. It was, I think it was like a Dennis Miller quote. There's nothing sadder than rebel with a pension plan. I think something akin to that. <laughs> it, it it feels like just you know now he's trying to be the dad when the whole appeal of him as a creator was that he was you know adolescent fun. He was you know the edgy you know. I'm pushing the boundaries of filmmaker. I don't necessarily care about good taste. I mean, from dust till dawn, which was extremely high rated on your list yesterday, mm -hmm. extremely exploitive. I mean, you know, just the Cheech Marin pussy monologue alone is so vile, but it's so great. I mean, could we, could anyone get away with a great pussy monologue nowadays? So if he remakes Machete, what's he going to do? Is the stapler? <laughs> kitchen, ki kitchen knife? Yeah. No, no, no. Stapler, no, not even a kitchen knife. A kitchen knife is outlawed in uh, in England, so. It would it have would to be, be like a... Uh, yeah, the know. spork. The nail clipper. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, he did a couple episodes of Mandalorian. Mandalorian uses guns and explosions and, and stuff that blows other, you know monsters yeah. up and stuff I, I i don't understand this type of thinking because he's basically continued to bring quote-unquote guns and just about everything he does so i, I guess mm -hmm. you just need to retire then robert 